So I saw this Pac-Man frog on Instagram and it was sitting in its own water bowl and it looked so rotund and I decided I just had to have one. We went to Aquariums West, which at the time was the only place in the area that carried them. I chose this guy because I thought it was really cute how you could only see his little head sticking out of the dirt. I'm actually not sure if it's male or female. I'll find out if it starts croaking in a few months. I'm really into plants, so I want to try my hand at a bioactive tank. Bioactive tanks utilize bugs, plants, and different substrate layers to create a mini ecosystem in your tank. Let's go through what I got. A mister to raise humidity. Rapashi meat pie. Day and night light bulbs to heat the tank. I ended up buying different bulbs after this video was filmed. Calcium to dust the food with. Reptisafe. Leaf litter. This one is willow oak. Drainage mesh. Tropical and temperate isopods. A water bowl, bamboo feeding tongs, cart bark, and I'm using Reptisoil. This is all going into a 12 by 12 inch Exoterra. For my drainage layer, I'm using clay balls I bought from Ikea that I also use for semi hydro plant setups with a drainage mesh over top. This allows excess water to drain away, preventing your soil from becoming excessively wet and moldy. Avoid using coconut-based substrates because those don't provide any nutrients for your plants to live off of. Now, Pac-Man frogs don't necessarily need a water bowl since they do absorb moisture through their skin, but I think they do benefit from access to water. Some like to use it as their toilet. Plants are essential to bioactive tanks because they feed off of the waste your animal produces. My frog is albino, so its eyes are particularly sensitive to light. I used cork bark to create a dark hide, and initially, I was intending to use one of my favorite plants, which is the Monstera adansoniae. But because those leaves have holes, I decided on this neon pothos instead to provide more shade. I also added a crocodile fern because the leaves are really nice and tough so it can withstand being trampled by the frog. Next I added the leaf litter which provides food for your cleanup crew and extra hiding spots. Then I added my isopods which will help consume waste and keep the soil clean. You might be able to see them here if you look really closely. Here's one. I sprayed down the tank and now here comes the best part. I introduced my baby albino Pac-Man frog, Prince Green Onion Pancake, to his new home. Okay, so now I would recommend using gloves as frog skin is very sensitive, but you know, do as I say, not as I do. And speaking of things you shouldn't do, it's actually much safer to use a heating pad on the side of your tank rather than heat lamps, but my ambient room temperature gets really low. It's helpful to get a thermostat so you don't fry your frog. Prince surprised me by eating some rapashi meat pie my boyfriend offered him immediately after I placed him in his tank. Now frogs sometimes don't eat for over a month when they're in new situations. I'll give you guys some more updates once he's settled. Thanks for watching.